and welcome to The Biking Actor and today's honest review on the Mutt 125 Fat Sabbath. Now for today's review we're going to do things a little bit differently because international renowned stunt performer Matthew Sterling, who I interviewed at the MCN Bike Show, if you've not seen it, click on the link, he actually owns a Fat Sabbath. Now Matthew has doubled for the likes of The Rock and Vin Diesel and you'll also see him in The Fast and Furious 6, he's the bald one. Now, if the Fat Sabbath is good enough for him, it may also be good enough for you. So, I think it's over to Matt for his honest review on the Mutt Fat Sabbath. Welcome to the Fat Sabbath. With a four-stroke, single-cylinder, fuel-injected engine offering a maximum 12 horsepower, this five-speed manual motorcycle is probably Mutt's most pimped 125. Rolling in on super-wide, chunky Continental twin Duro tires and all-black 18-inch wheels, it's fair to say that this mud is pretty black. There's also black diamond pattern hand grips and an ultra-thin black diamond pattern seat. Together with a shortened rear and wider front aluminium up guard, all finished in, well, flat black. Flat black shocks keep the bike firmly planted on the road, accompanied by a stainless steel satin black exhaust that emits that unmistakable mutt sound. Finally, black aluminium indicators, an LED aluminium tail light plus a satin black headlight grille add the finishing touches. And at just 3495 plus on the road, you just might stay in the black as well. So it's over to Matthew for his honest review on owning and riding this gorgeous bike. So, I'm on a Mutt 125, this actual model is called a Fat Sabbath, quite appropriate really. For a 125 it's got some poke, and what attracted me to it was the fact that it just looked retro. Originally I looked at a Mutt called the Hilts, and that was a copy the bike that was used in The Great Escape and it was actually named after, apparently, the stuntman that um, did the famous jump. I love the matte black and I love the style of it. It's quite nice in the fact that when I do take it out and I park it up, people do make comments about it, which which is nice because it's only really a 125. It's got plenty of poke for me, and I'm sort of 16 and a half stone. And for the price, you can't really go wrong. I mean, I paid for this brand new 3,300 or that or thereabouts. My insurance is a little bit high, only because I'm a stuntman. They seem to think that uh, being a stuntman, you're going to go and take the bike out and wheelie it and uh, do your evil Knievel impressions. I love it. I absolutely love it. It, it does me. I'm going to do my Mod 1 and my Mod 2 hopefully this year, but there's no major rush because I'm enjoying being on a bike. But I can't wait to get rid of my learner plates. Oh my God, it's like wearing stabilizers. <laughs> 